Nikola Tesla quotes. Let the future tell the truth, and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. The present is theirs, the future, for which I have really worked, is mine. Today's scientists have substituted mathematics for experiments, and they wander off through equation after equation, and eventually build a structure which has no relation to reality. Our virtues and our failings are inseparable, like force and matter. When they separate, man is no more. Modern science says, the sun is the past, the earth is the present, the moon is the future. From an incandescent mass we have originated, and into a frozen mass we shall turn. Merciless is the law of nature, and rapidly and irresistibly we are drawn to our doom. I do not think there is any thrill that can go through the human heart like that felt by the inventor, as he sees some creation of the brain unfolding to success such emotions, make a man forget food, sleep, friends, love, everything. The scientists of today think deeply instead of clearly. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. Every living being is an engine geared to the wheelwork of the universe though seemingly affected only by its immediate surrounding, the sphere of external influence extends to infinite distance. The scientific man does not aim at an immediate result. He does not expect that his advanced ideas will be readily taken up. His work is like that of the planter, for the future. His duty is to lay the foundation for those who are to come, and point the way. I do not think you can name many great inventions that have been made by married men. The Secretary of Hygiene or Physical Culture will be far more important in the Cabinet of the President of the United States who holds office in the year 2035, than the Secretary of War. In the 21st century, the robot will take the place which slave labor occupied in ancient civilization. With ideas it is like with dizzy heights you climb. At first they cause you discomfort, and you are anxious to get down, distrustful of your own powers, 
But soon the remoteness of the turmoil of life, and the inspiring influence of the altitude calm your blood, your step gets firm and sure, and you begin to look for dizzier heights. It seems that I have always been ahead of my time. I had to wait 19 years before Niagara was harnessed by my system, 15 years before the basic inventions for wireless which I gave to the world in 1893 were applied universally. The feeling is constantly growing on me, that I had been the first, to hear the greeting of one planet to another. The human being is a self-propelled automaton entirely under the control of external influences. Willful and predetermined though they appear, his actions are governed not from within, but from without. He is like a float tossed about by the waves of a turbulent sea. In a time not distant, it will be possible to flash any image formed in thought on a screen, and render it visible at any place desired. The perfection of this means of reading thought will create a revolution for the better in all our social relations. There is no conflict between the ideal of religion and the ideal of science, but science is opposed to theological dogmas, because science is founded on fact. To me, the universe is simply a great machine which never came into being and never will end. The human being is no exception to the natural order. Man, like the universe, is a machine. Antisocial behavior is a trait of intelligence in a world full of conformists. The spread of civilization may be likened to a fire, first, a feeble spark, next a flickering flame, then a mighty blaze, ever increasing in speed and power. The year 2100 will see eugenics universally established. In past ages, the law governing the survival of the fittest roughly weeded out the less desirable strains. Then man's new sense of pity began to interfere with the ruthless workings of nature. As a result, we continue to keep alive, and to breed the unfit. There is no memory or attentive faculty based on lasting impression. What we designate as memory is but increased responsiveness to repeated stimuli.
What do you think about this quotes? Comment below and subscribe to our channel.